Welcome to our Wednesday HelloFresh unpackaging. Delilah, move, move. So this is the box and the way it comes in, or it's delivered on the doorstep by UPS. So we open the box. And the first thing on the box are the menus for the items we ordered this week. This week we have no fuss pesto chicken with a pitcher and of course the recipe on the back. Pineapple poblano beef tacos. And apricot balsamic glazed pork tenderloin. We also get a page with the nutritional information for each item. So you can find your three items. These were all of the items that HelloFresh offered this week. So under this first cool wrap layer, you'll find bags, each labeled with all of the non frozen items that are needed for your recipe for that week. So here's our apricot balsamic glaze tenderloin. Here's our pineapple poblano beef tacos. And here we have the no fuss pesto chicken. Underneath that, there's a layer of Two layers of ice packs, as you can see, still solid ice. And then under that, we have our meat items. So here are the pork tenderloin, the ground beef, and the chicken breasts that we'll need for our recipes. And then there is another layer of frozen ice pack underneath, and of course, this insulated pack to keep things cool. So at this point, we can put our meat in a large bag to put in the refrigerator or the freezer, depending on when we're going to cook these items. Now, I prefer to just use a quart bag, freezer bag, um, to put the meat items in and then I can freeze them um, because I'm never sure what day I'm cooking. Um, and then I just take a quick peek because I'm curious about what's in the bag. So for the no fuss chicken pesto, we've got salad mix because that recipe calls for salad. We've got the potatoes that we need. Um, Here's the, this is the shredded low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. So you can see the great thing is just the portions we need for the recipe. And then we've got a pack of, this is panko breadcrumbs. And then we've got the basil pesto, a couple of small jars. So again, great thing about it is it's just enough for the star servings, the number of servings we need. So that's in our chicken, and I usually just put the whole bag in the refrigerator, um, unless I can see something that clearly does not need to be refrigerated. Uh, and then for our poblano beef tacos, oh, we're making this like fresh, fresh. So we're making the salsa and the, ourselves. So we've got fresh cilantro, We've got the fresh pepper, or no, this is a, yeah, jalapeno pepper. We've got fresh tomatoes, which will be interesting. I don't work with tomatoes. We have lime, another jalapeno. We've got, this is pineapple, a fruit cup of pineapple. Um, and then our quantities of sour cream, you see, very small. Um, and onion, and the rest of this stuff is duplicate. And then we've got our flour tortillas. So 
That should be yummy. I think because of the vegetables, what I'm going to do is make the tacos tomorrow evening for dinner. Um, so that the peppers and tomatoes are fresh because since it's, well, Thursday, oh, I have a meeting Thursday tomorrow night, so I may not cook these tomorrow night. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Maybe Friday, even though, you know, as a rule, I don't like to cook on Fridays. And then the last one we have is our bals apricot balsamic glazed pork tenderloin, which Dr. Rice is just going to love. So we have the green beans that we're going to have our vegetable with that. And here we have scallions, just a little small quantity. And what other goodies? It's like unwrapping a present. Jasmine rice, um, brown sugar, notice just in the quantity that we need. A little sesame oil, um, apricot preserves. Um, garlic, fresh garlic, um, chicken, I think this is like a chicken stock or some type of chicken broth, I don't know, rice seasoning, uh, another apricot preserve, oh, is this a little bottle of liquor, no, balsamic vinegar, vinegar. get your minds out of the gutter, um, little ginger root, um, and that's, oh, what is this? It's something we need for the recipe, but I'm not sure. It's like a sauce in a fish shape. Um, and another chicken reduced sodium, another balsamic vinegar. So that's everything we need. So I think what I'm going to do actually is not be lazy today. And I'm going to just put back in things that are refrigerated and things that are not for refrigeration. I will go ahead and put them in a baggie and keep them out. So, because I probably won't cook these until next week. So, does that look good? Are you excited? I'm excited about the recipes next week. Dr. Rice, well, since he will be assisting me, are you excited? Dr. Rice shakes the phone up and down. It means he's excited. All right, thank you for joining me.